why women are losing their hair because you know there's two main things really it's stress and diet which is very different than the 95 percent of men who lose their hair which is mostly androgenetic alopecia or genetic reasons for hair loss we have internal causes of stress so that's either emotional stress like a death a loss a move a job change things like that and physiologic stress and physiologic stress are things like hormone abnormalities elevated testosterone like pcos or autoimmune diseases, thyroid diseases, low iron, anemia, low zinc levels, low vitamin D levels, things that the body is saying, we're under stress. So take the blood flow away from the non-vital organs like the hair to the heart and the lungs because here we are trying to survive. If they're otherwise healthy and don't have any other stressors going on, whether it's you know these internal physiologic, emotional stresses or diet stresses, the hair tends to come back. From there, we draw blood work. We really wanna make sure that we plug whatever hole in the ship there is. So what happens with the diet is that with all these great weight loss drugs that have come out, really hair requires protein intake. And when there's a significant decrease in protein consumption, patients are losing their hair. And as we know, these drugs are in demand and it is only gonna get more and more. And we are gonna see hair loss even more and more with the rise of the new technologies out there.